before we get started, of course, we want to mention about justice because a lot of our people, because of your wickedness and your lack of whatever you want to call it, when you see injustice anywhere, as long as you're okay to watch it happen to somebody else, until it comes knocking on your door, then it will begin to make sense. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Do not wait until it comes knocking on your door before it begins to make sense. In order for us to have a thriving society, we must be able to speak the truth. We must back those that are speaking the truth. We must always uphold the truth because if you allow it to change and wiggle, <laughs> it will change and also wiggle. So we don't want that. So for those of you holding other people accountable when you have not held yourself accountable, shame on you. We must always strive to do the right things. All right, let's jump to our topic. Nina's proposition for a new constitutional order takes the center stage. I will be preparing you guys for this. Last week, we told you that now that the so-called National Assembly is accepting that the constitution needs to be amended, is the meaning that they have agreed. The constitution is faulty, that the constitution doesn't work for us. They have agreed. And what we want you, 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 the people to do is to agree with Ninas, not with the criminals. Well, not with those that have been uh, disagreeing, there's nothing going on. They want you to carry on and be a Nigerian and participating in politics and following who you want to follow and think you're going to make a change. And we're telling you that no change will come not even Jesus Christ of Nazareth, not even Allah will change your situation if this constitution is not the commission. If this constitution is not the commission, your suffering will not change. Your dollar currency to Naira will not change. None of that will change. The only thing will change that will change is that your pastor will hype you up some more and your religious leaders, they will hype you up some more and take some more money from you. Nigeria is in a conundrum. The 1999 constitution lacks legitimacy and cannot be amended because it is beyond repair. Nigeria is in a conundrum. The 1999 constitution lacks legitimacy and cannot be amended because it is beyond repair. So do not let anyone send you a link, send you any information in the name of friendship, sisterhood, brotherhood, neighborhood, whatever, to tell you, oh, bring your, bring your, uh, 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 what is it called, um, comments, yes. bring your whatever, uh, so that we can go and change and amend the constitution. For the last time, you cannot amend a fraud unless if you're a criminal, which I guess a lot of you, you know, you guys have turned into criminals. You cannot, you cannot mend a fraud unless if you're a criminal. We want a clean state, something that is based on the truth so that when you die in your wickedness and move on, your children will have a sustainable community and society to live in. As a conversation to put in place a legal process and pathway that will navigate Nigeria and Nigerians out of the difficult and very confusing situation, the poorly trained management team has put them in continuous. Ninas, as usual, will remain very focused determined to terminate the fraud of 1999 uh, constitution to correct the mischief of 1914 in order to complete, in the case of Nigeria, complete the decolonization process going on in entire Africa. So today, we we'll hope you help, you know, understand <clears throat> our very unique role in ending the pain and sorrow of our people that are trapped in this caliphate British mess. So be reminded, that it is the unitary constitutional order and the crooked federalism that incap incapacitated and caged us in this prison, not just the paper itself. Therefore, the pursuit by the Nigerian political elite to quickly get a new paper <laughs> is a missed target and another show of their shallow thought process. They have left us hungry. They have less of disenfranchised. They have exhausted all of our minds and memory and every effort that we have left in us. So they think they can put anything in our, you know, table, put anything in our front and then we'll jump to it because we are tired. 
because we're exhausted, because we want a change. Do not go for the change that is brought to you by the same people that are holding you hostage. You can see it wouldn't work. Do not go for a change by the same people benefiting from your pain. Because as long as they have money to send their children all over the world, buy houses all over the world, you, 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 the common man and woman, you guys are not on their priority list. You cannot, even in the midst of your hunger, be okay with not knowing what is going on. As long as you have gotten pregnant, you have impregnated a woman, you have given birth, you are a father of a child, whether you are in their life or you're not in their life, you must, you must do the necessary research that is needed in order for you to understand what will be the absolute solution to the issues that we are facing at this point. So I will pull up our third point of the day where my sister had. Please continue to help us to share and like. Thank you so much. And by the way, our viewers, the opening statement that my sister gave about Nigeria being a, in a conundrum and 1999 constitution lacking legitimacy and cannot be repaired because it's beyond repair, was brought out by Aminu Waziri Tambua, top Nigerian politician and a lawyer. So that's why we keep telling you people that they know the truth. They do. The political elites know the truth. They are bedfellows, church leaders, religious leaders, know the truth. It is their dishonesty that is making them behave as if they are deaf and dumb. Where is it not leaving you? You, the people. You, the people. Because power belongs to the people. That is democracy. So you are not waiting for these dishonest people to do anything for you because they are roped in this iniquity. Hmm. And we need to move. Thank you. Iniquity against humanity. These people are so mean, very mean spirited, very wicked, and yet they are churchgoers. <laughs> they, you know, they pray every morning, they call on the Lord of the universe to come to their aid when they have purely wickedness in their hearts. Wicked, wicked hearts. All of them, including your religious leaders. Especially so the top ones, the top ones, the ones that have bought private jets with your money and everything, and are using your money, the money for hospitals, for school, for road, to train their children abroad. So they will not help you. That's why we keep telling you, leave them alone. Stop serving them. Stop worshiping them. Seek your God in truth and honesty. And you will find him while he's still close. But if you continue to worship men, if you continue to worship agents of Lucifer, agents of darkness, in the name of my man of God, my God of man, you will be put to shame. You can see, when you talk against them, they will call police and DSS to arrest you. <laughs> they use the power that they to arrest the situation that we are in. Yes, to arrest the situation that we are in. And they will not even use that power to to arrest you because if the power is working and like I've, they've told you they're using the power to put fuel inside uh, put water move car uh, put water inside car and it will move they use the power to make themselves even when they're dehydrated after stooling for 24 times in one day they are not they're supposed to go into dehydration and go into something else they they are still strong to the bomb that power they cannot use it against you that you're saying something against them but they will go and restore back to their friends in the coven that they have set up called Nigeria. The coven that they want to uphold. That's why we keep telling you, these people are not for you. These people are not for you. They are not even for the God that you think you're worshipping. Mm -mm. And if you continue in this deceit, if you continue in this defense, what do we even call that thing? What's that uh, thing that you defend people that are uh, enslaving you? Um, syndrome, something syndrome. Stockholm, Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm syndrome. If you continue this, your Stockholm syndrome, this is your disease of defending people that are molesting and destroying your children and your destiny. 
we will not be waiting for you. Just don't come on this Facebook wall. If you see doctors of truth, carry your disease and go somewhere else. Because if you come here, we will challenge you toe to toe. Go ahead, please, my sister. <laughs> my dear, have they seen anything yet? So Nina's proposition for a new constitutional order takes the center stage. So we want to use this opportunity to thank our food soldiers. Thank you for the work that you're doing with our young ones. We appreciate your news. The message is getting across. So whether you're sleeping and you watch this show as usual, you hide it on your phone, you don't share, do not worry. The God of our ancestors is at work. He's going to do it with or without you. So don't think you have too much power. If you get this, instead of sharing it, you hide it on your phone. You'll be like, those daughters of truth, I will not share them. Don't share. <laughs> Our universe is taking charge. Mm. Our God is doing it. Yes. We are making headways with or without your efforts. Of course, we cannot move forward without reminding you guys in the estates, the dark... <laughs>